What's good? It's somebody the ruler, and I'm back with more hip hop and entertainment news. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Now, although Tech Stone is awaiting trial for the murder of Troy Ass homeboy Banga, he's been on several podcasts during his incarceration. Now, he was on Star Brim's podcast once before. This time, he appeared on Ben Baller's podcast and he has some pretty interesting things to say about a conversation him and nori had about 50 cent check it out i remember me and me and nori had a conversation and i was telling him like yo how 50 cent was one of my favorite rappers i was like nigga i fuck with 50 hard nigga like so he was like yeah yo i ain't gonna lie 50 always was hard but he was like yo i'm gonna tell you why you would have never wanted to really interview 50 so i was like why he was like yo because that nigga 50 really is a snitch so I was like, he a snitch. I'm like, I ain't never seen no paperwork on him because when I'm from the East New York, we don't come from the culture of promoting that type of shit without paperwork. The only way you can promote something like that without paperwork is if somebody's on camera doing it. So I was confused because I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why the fuck was he had 50 on drink chips and he just said that 50 was a snitch? You know what I mean? So then I was like, oh shit, like he either don't care or... He just made it up, and I just didn't know which one it was, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, he's a street dude, so I don't know a street dude would want to put a snitch on a show because you told me this nigga's a snitch, you know what I mean? Now, this whole snitch thing surrounding 50 Cent's name started with Ghetto Karan. But back in March of 2000, after getting into a fight with members of Murder, Inc., Ja Rule swore 50 Cent ran to the police and filed an order of protection against him and his crew. Now, Murder, Inc. members even posted the paperwork online, but elements of the document were proven to be false by Double XL Magazine. Now, a lot of people still will pull this up and pull it out and say that it is real. I wasn't there when it was made. And I wasn't able myself to prove that it was real or false. But get in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think about Noriega telling Techstone not to interview 50 Cent because he was a snitch. And then he ended up actually having 50 Cent on the podcast Drink Champs. I'm a Mighty the Ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Peace.